Sometimes you just want a good cleaning hack, but other times you want to know how to clean something properly, the way a professional would do it, the way you need to clean it so that you don't void your warranty or ruin the thing you're trying to clean. So in this video, I'm going to dish washer on how to clean your dishwasher like a pro. Because as many of you know, I run a cleaning company here in the city of Toronto. We have cleaned tens of thousands of homes and I've seen a lot of dishwashers that need cleaning in my day. So without further ado, let's roll up our, oh, mine are already rolled up. You roll up yours and we're gonna clean our dishwasher like a pro. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel, give this video a thumbs up if you would spring for a self-loading and unloading dishwasher. The first thing to do is to unload your dishwasher after you've done a cycle of dishes. This is the prime time for you to clean a dishwasher as soon as you've gotten a load out. Now, I do wanna point out this is a brand new dishwasher for us, although it is nowhere near a brand new dishwasher. This is the one that we acquired when we moved into the house. I'm still getting acquainted with it, and to do this video, uh, I actually went online to the Kenmore website to look up exactly how to deal with this dishwasher and how to clean it uh, and where the filter was located, and I will get to that shortly. Uh, but if you are not 100% familiar with the inner workings of your dishwasher, take a minute, find the model, find the brand, and just go online and figure out how your dishwasher works. I'm just filling this measuring cup with white vinegar. That will be for later on at the end of this cleaning, but I just figured, hey, I might as well get it out of the way. Next, I'm removing the cutlery basket and the lower rack. This just makes the bottom area and the door much more accessible for cleaning. I'll clean the cutlery basket later, but I'm not gonna clean the bottom rack. It didn't need it. Now I'm taking an all-purpose spray and I'm spraying the frame of the dishwasher as well as the door of the dishwasher. I find that gets the grimiest. Now I'm mixing equal parts baking soda and dish soap and I'm going to apply it with a cleaning toothbrush to the gasket and the frame of the dishwasher. As I said, this gets the crustiest, the grossest, and you can just spend some time going around these areas. I also went into the detergent tray as well. Just a quick little bonus. And I'll also point out that the area underneath your dishwasher might get some like crusty brown drips, so just be aware of that. Now my dishwasher doesn't have a removable filter, but the one in my old house does, so I'm gonna cut to that for you. Take out your dishwasher filter, soak it in hot soapy water, give it like a good one hour relaxation spa bath, then get a nylon bristle brush, scrub it really well, rinse it and replace it. And before you close the dishwasher, just grab a paper towel and give the base a quick wipe down. The spinning arm was removable, so I actually just gave that a quick rinse. If you notice that you're not getting water coming out of the spinning arm the way you'd like to, or your dishes aren't getting as clean, you might wanna take some picture hanging wire and just quickly go in and out of those little holes that shoot the water. That can really help with efficiency. Now you can replace your spinning arm or your filter, and you can finish up any of the work around the frame and the gasket. So I just agitated everything after I applied that baking soda and dish soap mixture. Now I'm using some water to sort of loosen everything up and then a microfiber cloth to just wipe it and buff it. The door and the frame and the gasket practically look brand new. This was totally worth doing. Now I've got the cutlery basket and the bottom rack going back in and I'm going to put that cup of vinegar on the top rack of my dishwasher and run through a sanitized cycle. Now, you can do this with baking soda at the bottom. You can do this with a dishwashing cleaner tablet. As long as you do this with some sort of product that will help descale and deodorize your dishwasher, you're fine. Now, the exterior of my dishwasher being white does get a little bit discolored, so I'm using some baking soda on a cleaning toothbrush to remove some of that discoloration. Then I'll just clean it with some all-purpose cleaner and a microfiber cloth. And of course, if you have stainless steel appliances, you can give that a wipe down too. One thing I forgot to mention is your instrument panel. You do want to give that a little spray and wipe, and that's it. So now you know how to have a nice, fresh, clean dishwasher so that you can load it up again with dirty dishes. But don't worry, because the next time that your dishwasher is grungy and nasty, at least you know how to clean it properly so that your dishes will come out sparkling, clean, and fresh. You're welcome. Because I have way more cleaning information than I ever care to admit, I am happy to help you learn how to clean pretty much anything you need to like a pro. And that brings me to this week's comment question, which is, what else do you want to know how to clean like a pro? Please let me know in the comments down below and I can put a video like this together for you about that. Now the other question I have for you, 
What is the weirdest thing that you've cleaned in the dishwasher? I gotta tell you guys, I remember a long time ago, I had someone tell me, now this wasn't a cleaning thing, but that they made salmon in the top rack of their dishwasher. Like they took a piece of salmon, they wrapped it in tin foil, stuck it in the top rack, and then put it on the steam cycle. I don't know exactly how she did it. Please don't try it. It kind of weird, weirded me out, but she did it and she swore by it. So I'd love to know, what's the weirdest thing that you guys have put in your dishwasher? If you want to see what we're up to during the rest of the week, you should follow along on Instagram. I am at Melissa Maker. Chad, who's behind the camera today, he is at the Chad Reynolds. And the two of us are at Clean My Space. Here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And if you want to learn more about Maker's Clean Microfiber Gloss, you can click this button right over here. There is a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.